Hey Chance World Saying 6 here with another video review. This time we have the Marvel Legends Collector's Edition 3 pack with Miss Marvel, Captain America, and Radioactive Man. So here you go. So this is a Target exclusive. If, I, um, if I'm not mistaken, I thought that there was a Target exclusive sticker on this, but I guess there isn't. But um, I thought that there was. So yes, I'm not 100% sure if this is a Target exclusive, but I believe it is. It seems like they came out with this for for kind of Christmas, like a um, you know a gift set. Um, well, I found this on an end cap with a bunch of what I thought were exclusives that were all kind of like sets of figures, um, you know, with their prices, you know, really, you know big and almost like they're having a deal on them or something um, just to kind of draw in people to get them uh, as gifts it looks like so yeah so overall I'm very happy with this set um, as far as I'm happy that they came out with it because there were a lot of great uh, Marvel Universe figures or Marvel Legends figures that they showed um, that were going to be coming out that of course because the Marvel Universe or Marvel Legends line is just a little crazy they obviously didn't come out um, for some reason, the Marvel Legends line, you know, the variants just aren't coming out, and then just other waves that they show just aren't coming out, but they are, it seems like they're trying to get all those variants and all those figures that they showed previously out somehow, whether it's through uh, packs like this, or just kind of squeezed into other um, waves of, of uh, figures, or just however it's done, it seems like they're trying to get them out, which I think is uh, really quite nice. I would have preferred they just come out in a wave and be done with it, but, uh, you know, we're gonna gotta fool around to get them a bit, but it looks like uh, we are gonna be able to get them, so I'm very happy about that. So, I bought this pack purely for Radioactive Man. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna keep it. I was thinking about returning it and just buying Radioactive Man on eBay, but I took Miss Marvel out just to see how she was and loved that figure, so I decided just to keep the entire thing. So, yeah. So, um, so let's go over the figure. So, let's start off with a uh, more interesting, or, you know, first of all, the packaging. It's the standard design packaging for uh, the Marvel Universe um, series that they have now, uh, whether it be for a movie or just um, for a comic series, but it's just it's elongated. I mean, that's the only difference to it. Overall, I think it's a quite a nice way to do a three pack uh, with a series like this. Going over Captain America here. Overall, quite a nice figure. Just take the box out of here. There he is. Let's get some figures in the background. So overall, this was definitely the one that I could care less about. I mean, I really just had no interest in this figure. And um, and that's just because it's Captain America. I've got a million movie versions. I've got a million comic versions. I did not need a million and one. Um, but yet again, they found a way to squeeze in another Captain America to force us to buy. So overall, that is a little disappointing. But this Captain America is, you know, it's alright. Uh, head sculpt. Overall, pretty decent. Paint apps are okay, um, except uh, uh, around the eyes, it can be a little funky, so I'd say to um, watch out for that. The A is pretty centered. Seems like they did a good job, as well as the, the wings on the side there look pretty nice. They got a little bit of blue paint on the ear. Not a big problem, though. Overall, pretty nice. Uh, you know, basic design. For the body, I'm not going to go over this guy too much because there's just nothing new to talk about. The boots are nicely uh, sculpted. I like the straps on them and, um, you know, uh, strings and everything. Looks pretty nice. Overall, his articulation, he's got a ball jointed uh, neck, which is really great. Ball hinge shoulders with a bicep swivel. Double hinge elbows swivel at the gloves. Then he's got an ab crunch with a waist swivel. Ball jointed thighs with a thigh swivel. Double hinge knees with a swivel at the boot. And then hinge pivoting ankles. Overall, articulation is pretty good, except the swivel is at the glove up here. Instead of having like a swivel hinge at the wrist, that would have been a lot nicer. As well as, um... Uh, the the joints are kind of softer plastic on this guy for some reason, which kind of gives his arms a bowed in type of look, which I have to say doesn't look good. It makes it look very much like a toy and, and rather cheap like. And then the the um the uh, the what is this? Uh, the bicep here. It's got some uh, problems with the paint. You've got a little bit of bleeding with that white there, which doesn't look good. And um, I do have another Captain America that the uh, just around this joint here, ha there has been um, paint that has been scraping off just from the bicep swivel. So I fear that that might be happening on this figure. Uh, hopefully it doesn't, but it, it certainly might. The star was a really interesting way to do it. I mean, if you have his arm completely down, the star lines up completely. But if you do hinge his arm up, the star is all out of place, of course, because the hinge is painted with the star wall. The sides of the arms are painted differently, so they do kind of look a little odd. I think that that was a pretty interesting idea. I am glad that when you have his arm straight down, it completely lines up and it looks quite good, though. That was a pretty unique idea. Um, his belt is very nice. I think it's sculpted really well. 
You got a lot of smoke grenades and pouches and a knife holder, and it's painted uh, brown with black uh, highlights. It makes it look very comic-ish, which I do like a lot. I think that they did a wonderful job on that, I have to say. His uh, accessories, you get a shield, just standard red and silver shield. Overall, looks pretty good, and it does have a clip and a peg. The clip, as soon as I tried to clip it on, it popped off. I don't know what uh, the problem was is with that. I don't know if I just got a really crappy one or if that's kind of a standard thing. I have two or three other shields like this were clips, and uh, none of those I've had any problems with. So it might just be exclusive to this one. I'm not sure. Uh, quite disappointing, but I really don't care too much about this figure, so I'm not too um, uh, too depressed about it. Uh, the red paint has been is you know really sloppily done. You've got some there, 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 and then on the side here. It's just, it's really just poorly done. Wish that they could have, uh, you know, did a little bit more quality control with that. You can peg this onto his back, which is quite nice. And I just dropped it. So overall, a pretty standard um, Captain America. Uh, you do get an extra head sculpt of Chris Evans. Or not Chris Evans, but, you know, Steve Rogers. Overall, you know, nice. It is just a, the same head sculpt as the... Um, the Steve Rogers version, which is his his stealth suit from the comics. Um, overall, you know, I already have that version, so there's just nothing new with this guy. If you don't have a Captain America, then getting this set is, you know, fine to get this one. He he works fine in your collection. But if uh, you do have a Captain America, you don't need this one. Uh, just about every other Captain America that I have, whether it be movie or uh, comic in the 6-inch line, is better than this one. I just, it's not great. I don't like how the arms bow in, and, you know, some of the paint quality is isn't the best and there's just nothing new about them so overall this was totally a figure that was just put in so that you'd have to buy it basically to get radioactive man and or miss marvel so yeah so now let's go on to uh, some of the more interesting figures of this pack all right so now going over radioactive man so this is the one that i really bought the set for i was pretty excited to get him mainly because i really like that three pack that came out as a san diego exclusive one uh, that was masters of evil for the marvel universe line and i never got that so this is a way to get kind of the scaled up version of that team which i've kind of always wanted so i was very happy to get radioactive man overall looking quite nice i have to say i really do like the translucent uh, uh plastic that they used here i think it's really well done. I mean, I, I really, it's hard to talk about it because it's so kind of unique. Can't really compare it to anything, but it does, you can like see through it. It's not like it's uh, just a light um, uh, green or anything. You can see through it, which is cool. You can see the joints inside of there, which is pretty interesting. I have to say is quite nice. One thing that I would have wished is that they actually sculpted on this um, this kind of shirt rather than just painting it on because it is just completely painted on. Would have liked that to actually have been sculpted. That would have been quite nice. Head sculpt is pretty good. Very muscular as you can see, he does have dark green around his eyes while the rest is that translucent. And then he has white on his eyes. Um, this head sculpt looked pretty familiar to me. I thought that it was Drax at first, and it wasn't. Then I thought maybe it was one of the um, Wreckers, and it wasn't. So as far as I know, that this sculpt hasn't been reused before. Um, but I could be wrong. Like, if it has been reused, please let me know. I'm just, I haven't seen anything that was completely that head sculpt, though. So yeah. Pretty muscular arms. You've got his little, I don't know what you'd call that, but his article of clothing there. You've got his legs looking pretty strong, and then the kind of uh, boots there. I'm sure these boots have been reused as far as, uh, th this is a pretty common um, boot for uh, for a Marvel character, I have to say. Um, overall, he is looking quite good, though. Arms are a bit, you know, I would have liked them to be a bit bulkier. I just feel like he has such a bulky upper torso, head, and legs that the arms are a little too thin, but that's really not a problem whatsoever. I mean, he really fits in quite nicely and looks good. Uh, articulation is really great. He's got ball hinge neck, ball hinge shoulders, bicep swivel, double hinge elbows, hinge swivel wrist, uh, um, ab crunch, with a swiveling waist that isn't really hindered too much, if at all, by the costume. Ball joint thighs which aren't hindered too much but are a bit of uh, th uh, swivel um uh sorry ball hinge sorry ball hinge thigh or sorry uh ball hinge hips swivel thighs double hinge knees swivel at the um boot and then a uh, hinge pivoting ankles overall articulation is quite good and he really is quite nice on that um on that level articulation is up to marvel universe standards 
or legend standards. Here he is with Zemo. I really do want to get Tiger Shark, which was originally supposed to be um, the variant for Radioactive Man in the wave that they were coming out with. Um, of course, that wave got canceled, and therefore, they're, uh, hopefully, they'll get Tiger Shark out in another wave or in another three pack or just some way because I would love to have Radioactive Man, Zemo, and Tiger Shark. Um, so, hopefully, that will happen in the near future. Uh, another feature that's kind of neat with him, uh, definitely not necessary, but cool, is when you turn off the lights. His uh his little star in there is um uh is uh glow in the dark, which I think was a really neat function. Not necessary, but a little cool extra little piece. So overall, this is a really great figure, and uh, I do like Radioactive Man a lot. Hope they get Tiger Shark out. Um, but yeah. So now let's go over Miss Marvel. Who I would consider the star of this wave is, of course, Miss Marvel, so here you go. So this was the figure that I wasn't even most anticipating, but when I got it, was definitely the best in my opinion. So going over this uh, this figure, it's really well done. I really don't know too much about her in the comics. Um, I did read up on the character after I got this figure to learn a little bit more about her. She's a pretty interesting character. Hopefully she makes a movie appearance one day. But overall, very nice. First of all, the head sculpt looks really good. Face sculpt's nice, uh, the lipstick isn't overpowering, it's very subtle, which looks nice. The eyes are painted well, you know, uh, you know, the blue isn't too bright, you know, it's, it's not too bad. The um, the hair isn't super blonde, it's not bleach blonde, it is normal blonde with some uh, brown, or with some black and like gray, uh, very lightly um, highlighted and washed into the, uh, to the um, you know, little outcoves and cracks in her hair, which I think looks fabulous, actually just wonderful, I really do like it. And uh, overall, the actual sculpt is really nice. There are some paint quality issues, unfortunately, unlike mine. You've got the little arm right there with some, um, uh, some skin uh, color uh, bleeding into the black. Uh, as well as on there, there's some like almost like silver. Uh, there's just little paint issues, unfortunately, around the figure. But nothing too drastic, you know, just some small little uh, splotches. Nothing too terrible or noticeable. Overall, painted quite well. Really do like it. Her thighs, very good, and the legs, everything very nice. One thing that I would have liked is that on her thighs, I would have liked the cut in her outfit to be a little bit more sculpted and not just painted. Not a big deal whatsoever. I'm not even sure if that would be more accurate to the comics. It's just something that I think would look a little bit nicer than just actually painting on the uh, the the split between her uh, her um, unclothed to clothed legs. So would have liked that little uh, difference, but nothing too bad. She does have a sculpted I don't know what you call this. Couple of tassels that are just sculpted on here. It looks looking very nice. I like the way that they're waved. They're not just straight down or they're not just kind of like curved to one side. They are very much uh, posed, which I think is really quite nice and well done. And you can, you know, kind of angle them so that the belt isn't just straight like this. You can have it at an angle or or, um, or the other way as well. So I really do like that. You can ki kind of pose or at least um, place this a little differently to make it look nicer. Her little Z or, you know, lightning bolt uh, type of a... Uh, um, you know, design on her outfit is quite nice. Now, she does have a ball jointed upper torso, but even when she is moved and that's not lined up, I still think it looks really good. Like, even from, like, there, I mean, that just looks, that looks fine. No problem whatsoever, so I really do like that. Overall, the actual sculpt is quite nice on this figure. Now, um, going over the um, articulation is really quite good. She's got a ball jointed head, um, which can look up, you know, a fair amount. Can look down slightly, but the hair does hinder it, of course. Side to side is quite nice. Not not too hindered by the hair, but a bit. Um, ball hinge shoulders with a bicep swivel. Hinge with a swivel at the uh, at the uh, elbow, which is kind of unique considering you already have a bicep swivel. Hinge swivel um, wrists. You've got a great ball jointed upper torso with tons of movement. Really do like that. Ball jointed thighs that aren't hindered in the slightest. With a um, ball jointed hips, which aren't hindered. With a swivel thigh. Double hinge knees and hinge pivoting ankles. Overall, she has top of the line articulation, but her articulation isn't uh, hindered whatsoever. One thing that I really like, and this might just be on mine, I don't know if they meant to do this or if it was a total just kind of defect, but over here, as you can see, her arms kind of like, you know, just completely straight. The bicep to the, um, to, uh, to the, uh, 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 you know, um, uh, uh, shoulder here, can't talk, is very straight, you know, it matches up. On this side, it's kind of tilted. You've got the shoulder, and then the bicep just kind of swings out, kind of like this. And overall, I think it gives her a really neat little comic look. Her arm is a little bit almost misshapen. Just a, just a tiny bit, nothing too noticeable. Just a bit. It gives her like a cartoon, or like, not, not a cartoon, but a drawing type of appearance, which I think looks absolutely wonderful. And overall, really do love this figure. Just little nuances like that 
that really make it for me. I really have to say it's great. Um, overall, I like her proportions too. That's another thing that a lot of women figures get wrong, in my opinion. I think that a lot of them just don't have the right proportions, and they're they're just going too over on the thighs, or you know, just you know, they need to kind of make it a little bit more realistic and not so uh, so crazy like. So I think that this one really, uh, you know, perfectly captures the character. And I have to say, is one of the best Marvel Universe or Marvel Legends figures uh, that I have. I I just completely enjoyed this figure, especially since I don't even know anything about her. It's not like it's a it's a character that I really like or anything. It's just a really solid figure and a fantastic representation of Miss Marvel. Um, I I think she's a popular character. So assuming that's true, um, this will definitely be quite a popular figure I think and uh, yeah overall really well done I have to say absolutely love this figure ton of fun poses great proportions and uh, just great articulation in general very happy to have this so yeah so there you go. So this set as a whole is really great, I have to say. You get one figure that's worthless, <laughs> one set, one figure that's very good, and then one figure that's fantastic. Overall, that's a win for me. Typically, these packs really just have one star figure, and the other two are unnecessary or ones that you already have. For this set, you do get two completely new figures and characters, and then you get one figure, I'm not quite sure if Captain America is a complete repack or not, but if not, he is nothing really too new. So overall, Captain America is not necessary unless you don't have a Captain America for some uh, for some crazy reason. Uh, then, you know, that would be nice to have. But Radioactive Man and Miss Marvel are both really cool, interesting characters. The only thing I don't kind of like get with this pack is that these characters just don't relate at all, in, at least from what I know. I don't know why these characters are in this set together. They don't seem to come from a comic book series or anything like that. They're just kind of like random comic book uh, Marvel characters, so I'm not quite sure what they're going for. They're not even ones that like appeal to like kids or even just to collectors because, you know, there's Captain America that's thrown in, which would typically be a more of a kid um, uh, figure that, you know, they want the kids to buy. But then they have Miss Marvel, which typically they would consider that kids wouldn't want a woman figure, as well as kids wouldn't know who Radioactive Man is. So it's just, it's kind of like an odd ensemble, but I have to say I'm very happy with it because uh, I I really do like these figures, and uh, it's definitely highly recommended by me. It's a $50 pack. Considering these guys alone would be $20 a piece, but then if they were alone, they most likely come with Build-A-Figure pieces, so you gotta, gotta, kinda just gotta weigh, you know, how much it's worth. Overall, Captain America is somewhat of a worthless figure, but Miss Marvel and Radioactive Man are great. For me, definitely worth it. If you like um, to pick and choose between your Marvel Universe characters or Marvel Legends characters, then this might not be the best set for you, but if you do like a just some variety in your characters and uh, and you're really just a fan of the toy line in general then this is definitely going to be a good one for you. So there you go, so that's my review of the Marvel Universe Infinite Series Collector's Edition 3-pack uh, with Miss Marvel, Captain America, and Radioactive Man. Thanks so much for watching.